I've got this brand new Z781i Kubota. I was out mowing all day with it. But first thing this morning I was mowing and, uh, hey Scarlett, hey girl. All right, so first thing I was, when I was mowing it just cut off on me. And it was the only thing it would do is show me a error code ERR21. That's all it would do. So I'm going to show you what I did to fix it because, of course, if you go to the manual, first thing it says is call your dealer, take it straight to the dealer. So I'm going to tell you how I fixed it. All right, so I turned the key on. Here's what I got everything's in place. And there's the error code ERR21. And the hazard flasher see all the other ones are good you know these will your left okay and then the right well and then the right same deal you know the part breaks on if i take take that off then it turns that off okay try to spin it over nothing notice also the fuel pump's not running okay so of course the old school in me says to check all the fuses. So of course I popped this up and I looked at the fuses in here. And then the more I got to thinking about it, I said, well, the fuse, the fuel pump's not even running. So I took this cover off because this got your fuel pump fuse and relay and the main fuse and relay in it. And I pulled this fuse is okay. I pulled this fuse here Okay, well, I put it back in because the little piece that was floating around in it. I'll have to pick it up because it fell right there. You can see it. Basically, the fuse fell apart. So right there's the piece of the fuse. That's supposed to be inside here. But when I picked it up and looked at it, it looked okay. You can see the little bridge in there with the bridge, the, uh, the horseshoe part's missing right now, and that's it sitting right there. But I held it up to the light. You know, I held it up here, and I was like, oh, it looks okay, because the horseshoe part was in there. It wasn't burnt. It wasn't melted. Okay, so I'll show you what a good fuse looks like. So here's a good fuse. Okay, and it looked just about like that, but one side was kind of drooped down. So I put it back in. I was like, well, I think the fuse is okay. And then I got to think about, it. wait a minute. I pulled it right back out and I said, and then I shook it around. I tapped it, tapped on it. And then sure enough, that piece was loose. All right. So good fuse on the right, bad fuse on the left. And that piece, and there's the piece that was inside it just kind of hanging on. It was, I went to my truck and I know there's always spare fuses. Okay, so there's the fuse panel in my truck, and here's spares. So I took out a 10, and it's a good one. Replaced it. Put the cover back on. All right, turn the key on. Here's the fuel pump running immediately. Okay. And no more error code. So my suggestion is, first of all, always have spare fuses. And also, just go back to the basics. Go back to the old school way of fixing things. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. Yes, it had an error code 21. And the funny thing is, you don't usually see that in a fuse. You see a fuse melt, but you don't see them go bad, typically. So what I do is I keep spare fuses. I always have some in my shop. I've got this pack right here. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like. And you can always keep both size fuses on hand. And you can also count on the ones in your truck, but you're gonna have to replace them if you ever have to use your spares. You want to make sure you have those ready in your vehicle as well all right so hopefully that helps somebody out there because this uh kubota i went looking online for that that trouble code and i couldn't find it anywhere first off it was showing that 21 trouble code was uh some kind of shift high switch and i'm thinking 
Okay, this is a zero turn, uh, not really shifting gears. So I just got to thinking, all right, I'm gonna go back and check the fuses and sure enough, it had a bad fuse. So good luck. Hit that like if you like. Thanks.